Okay, so for this, we're going to be doing level one syllabus, and it's movable anchors, and according to the ICOP, you need to pass two obstructions. So we have two obstructions now. Right? Same thing as normal, you get onto your ropes, you climb up, change over, and then you move along. But you're going to require an extra foot loop, and you're going to require three wire slings for this. So, I'm going to get up, get myself into position, and I've done this on purpose. I've left the slings not double wrapped, so it's going to make it harder for me to get through it. But, that's the point of the videos, is to train you how to do it properly. Okay. yourself into going up position and this is very low so it's going to make it a little bit difficult but essentially hanging now going up I need to get up higher I remove my jaw take it off put it through the carabiners there and I stand up the rest of the way now nice and high now what I'm going to do now I want to change over first Okay, level one, always need to be in your descender. And the reason for the changeover here is if I was to just stand up and try and put my slings on, I'm going to be putting my crawl in a fall factor, and you don't want to have a crawl in any fall factor because it's a tooth device. So, changeover, up, up, stand up. Okay, I'm a bit lower now, and I'm up, climb right to the knots. Cool. I'm going to take my one sling off. Throw it over the beam, like that. Keep it there. I'm going to take my juma now. And I have created my first point. Take the second sling. I've got that one there for now. We'll get to it shortly. Right over. Now I'm going to get my set of guys done. Be careful here, guys. This is the point where you need to move the ropes out the way so that you can make sure you are not twisted around the ropes. So you saw. One car starts coming around this way and the other one's coming around that way. When I get off, I'm going to be stuck. Easy way to fix that, just come around the same way every single time. So, even though that caster looks weird now, it's in the same direction. So, I get both my feet and my foot loops now. And then, I'm going to be ready for my third which requires the short thing. So, I clip the short thing to my D-ring over there, not the top D-ring, that's only for fall arrest and for rescuing people. Don't use it waiting. I want to go to the bottom D-ring. Take my spare sling. I'm going to get rid of this carabiner because I don't need it. So I stand up, get my balance, like such, and then I clip it in. Come on. Sit down and then close the caravan. Don't fight with it. So technically now I have one, two, three, four, five points. Okay? I can now remove my knees in there. Must be back up.
Okay? And remember what I said, if everything follows the same way around, you won't get tangled in the ropes. So now I'm not tangled. Now, one thing to remember you need to get comfortable. Right. But a lot of level ones make the mistake is they do something like this when they get on. Now, I'm doing this just for the video. You should not be doing this. Okay. If it is connected like that, there is no point from my harness to that sling. So that does not count as a point now. It has to have a car still join. So what we see level ones do is they put the foot loop on a sling like that, and they do the same on the other side and there's no cast tails and they get it with their short link on and then they remove the stuff here if i was to remove that cast tail now i'll be hanging on one point you don't want that so make sure that you have three points now the reason for the three points is the obstacle Alright, so we get something nice and neat here. Right, so how to aid? Very important. If you're an unfit guy, you do not want these foot loops in between your legs. Because what happens when you stand up? Your legs want to go up. You can hurt yourself very badly. We have had it in the past. Guys dislocated his knee doing it. So you don't want to do that. You want your legs on the inside of the foot loops. So when you stand up, the foot loops actually stop your legs from going up now. Right? So what we do, we move this car still. You have your hand on the, the short link caster that you want to move. Stand up. Don't put it on top of the other one. Put it just next to it. And then sit down. Bring the other one. Now we have an obstacle. So. We remove this, and again, everything must go past it in the same way. So if I brought this one around the back, everything's going to come around the back. In the past, what we used to do, stand up, take this one off, put it past, and try and reconnect it. Very difficult, especially for a new level one that has not how to do this. So we made it a little bit easier. What we do, undo this carabiner, stand up, get your balance, remove it, and then clip it in to that sling. Now, don't confuse this as two points. It's not, it's one point. And the reason why it's one point is because it's only one sling. So, I take this sling now, I put that one there, take the foot loop, and I clip it back in. Okay, and then I move up a little bit just to give myself some space so that when I take this one off, I pass it. Okay. Move it as far as you can, grab the middle one, and sit down, and do it in a controlled manner. Stand up, and sit down. And we're again at an obstacle, so the same thing applies again. Take this one off, move it past, undo this one, stand up. Flip it in, sit down, and close the carabiner. Bring that thing over. Flip that one in. Move a little bit to give yourself some space. And then bring this one with. And you have passed two obstacles. As you can see, I've remained 
on two points at all times. I required the third point to move past the obstacle every time. Okay, okay. So we passed our obstacles. Now we need to move to getting back onto a set of ropes to coming down. Again. Okay, I remember guys, foot loops are generally not rated. You can use a piece of ab cord, a piece of rope, whatever, but it's not rated, so it doesn't actually require certification. It doesn't have a year number or anything like that. The fancier ones, yes they do. Like these ones actually are rated, you can see the load bearing stitching on them, everything like that. But in essence, if these break, you should not be getting hurt. You may have a small fall, but you'll be less than four factor one and you shouldn't be getting hurt. Okay, so what we do here now, is we take that spare back up, we install the back up on the rope, Thank you for watching. 